Hey guys, how's it going? Licky Giraffe here, once again. This is the first part of my Total War videos. Uh, as you've seen from the rest of my channel, I've gone out to Dark Souls, I've started Alien Isolation. This is another game that I want to uh, start recording as well. This is, is, is Total War Attila, to be specific. Uh, I've owned quite a few of the Total Wars. Uh, I own Shogun 2, I own uh, Rome 2, I own Attila, I own the original Rome. Uh, I've played Medieval, Medieval 2 Total Kingdoms. Um, I really like the series. I'm extremely excited for Total War Warhammer as well. I can't wait to see, uh, see if CA gives any more information about that at E3. Uh, super, super excited for that because I love Warhammer. And I love the, the kind of the fantasy setting. But uh, anyway, back to the present. So uh, for this, um, I am planning to do a grand campaign as the Western Roman Empire. Or the Eastern Roman Empire. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm probably going to decide right now. As I'm talking to you guys. Uh, so I've never done a campaign with uh, either of these guys before. Um, I've done a campaign with the Franks. Uh, well, when I say campaign, I mean I've played with them quite a while. I don't think I've ever actually finished a finished a campaign. I've certainly played quite a lot of time, but I've played I played some of the Franks. Um, I played I played say some of the Geats. And they've both been both been pretty fun. But I've always been kind of jealous of the uh, the Roman Empire because they, their units are really really strong. Uh, so as you can see, uh, both both factions have an initial challenge. Well. Eastern Roman Empire is very hard, whereas Western Roman Empire is legendary. Uh, I think I think I'm probably going to go Western Roman Empire, uh, just because. So we have Latin religions, Latin Christian, uh, verge of catastrophe. So uh, yeah, so at this stage in history, the Roman Empire is really starting to crumble. Uh, so as you can see, we have we have like a big chunk of land. However, from playing my other campaigns, I know for a fact that while they control a lot of land, the Empire actually doesn't have that many armies, and you're pretty much surrounded by everyone who absolutely hates you. So you pretty much get attacked from all sides straight away, and you need to uh, you need to do some kind of careful management to, to make sure yeah, they just don't fully collapse. So what I'm probably going to do the overall plan is I'm going to uh, kind of say retreat a little bit, so instead of trying to protect everything, try to retreat back a little bit, kind of say hold hold main cities, if possible, kind of get my bearings, and then kind of start to build up, get my economy in order, and then push back out again, and retake what is rightfully mine. So um, I'm going to do this uh, on hard. Uh, I do maybe very hard, but I want to have a little bit of fun instead of smash my wall against the smash my face against the wall, should I say? So I'm going to go for hard. Uh, I'd say the, the initial challenge of legendary is going to be it's going to be uh, it's going to be enough for me. Um, and then battle time about is 40 minutes, just in case there are some weird cases where the AI is just really really terrible in this game and uh, say like won't attack you. Uh, say if you're hoarded up in your castle. Even if they have like a massive advantage, so it's better to just wait for them instead of being forced to go out and kill them, or else the battle will never end. Uh, you might see an example of what I'm talking about, you might not. So let's look at our cultural truths. So first of all, our religion is Latin Christian. Um, I'm a good Christian, treats from the Empire, say so yeah, Latin Christian, culture is trade and imperial allegiance. Levy units from friendly hordes, pass through Roman territory. I wonder how many friendly hordes. There are going to be, as opposed to awful evil hordes who want to kill me. And then a cultural integration minus 2% per non Roman unit in military force. Constant immigration and increased military order penalties minus 50%. Okay, that's pretty good. So that means then that hopefully that will give me kind of an extra bit of population boost from the surrounding areas. So let's start the campaign. Ooh. Western Roman Empire, let's do it. Necessity is the mother of invention. Lucius Apuleius. Right there. Something I actually really like about this game is the, the musical score. Like the, the Mongolian like, throat singers, I think is what they're called. Uh, they're really good. 
know if you've ever seen a Marco Polo on Netflix, I would recommend. I really enjoy that. Um, it kind of follows uh, the the cans and um, uh, descended from uh, from Genghis Khan, Genghis or, or Genghis. We say with in the, in the Marco Polo, they say Genghis. So I've started saying that too, you know, because clearly I am I am I am really really well educated if I watch a TV show. So I wait, let's load. Um, Actually, I'm not a huge fan about Total War games. It's they're very CPU heavy. They don't really utilize your GPU, which is a shame. Actually, let's let's watch the video. The air was filled with smoke and blood. The Roman Empire was divided. From the pillars of Hercules to the far reaches of the Adriatic. The Western Empire stretched. Sacred Earth, where men of greatness conquered. And those who followed neglected Rome, fighting over the scraps of past glory. aside their petty differences or succumb to barbarous darkness and behold a red horse and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth Romans of the Western Empire those noble sons of the Eternal City. The time had come to restore power to Rome. They made ready for war. It was the will of the late Emperor Theodosius that Rome be divided. And this has left you in a precarious situation. Overstretched and desperately trying to protect the Western Empire from barbarian threat, the burden of military and civil maintenance has left your economy in tatters. Public order is waning, so it may be wise to consolidate your forces closer to the capital, ceding frontier territories as a buffer if necessary. Once your infrastructure has been strengthened and the immediate threats dealt with, you will be ready to strike forth, conquer your enemies, and if possible, regain dominion over the Eastern Roman Empire. Build the Roman Empire worthy of Augustus himself. Okay. Oops, better stop scrolling. <laughs> They made ready for war. So until the following date, 2400. New bonus objectives have been added. Oh my god. Let's check them. So yeah, it's survive. Oh god, so many objectives. Survive. Maintain 5 mercenary units. Maintain 75% of the following religion in specified provinces as Latin Christian. Sure, it's the following technology. Legal science. The entirety of all the provinces of Africa and Tripo the Tana. Okay. Interesting. Be at war with the following faction the Visigoths and maintain a total of 10 units of faux Durati spears. Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's see now. So. The previous games I've played in Total War Tila, I literally, literally started out as one province, uh, one province faction. So the Geats start up here. That's their one province, and the Franks. Actually, I think the Franks must start up with two. I don't remember, but they're pretty much there anyway. So this is a bit of a change where I suddenly have literally all this land. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. That's my tray like so. Da, 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 da. Where is the money? So, profit this turn. 
fifteen hundred. I'm only making fifteen hundred a turn with all of this land. That is that is utterly utterly despicable. Jesus. Uh, okay, let's check my family tree. Okay, so let's see. At the moment, Flavius Honorius Augustus is my faction leader. Maria, then Flavius Stilico. Okay, so I've got a daughter, another daughter. Right, and a lot of patricians. <laughs> My power isn't actually that great. Hmm. Alright, well, I suppose I'll probably assign these guys to some offices because I can. Pam Africa. And for some reason I'm not able to assign anyone else. Why is that? Hmm. I don't know. Shall we find out soon enough? God, my family tree is horrendously small. <laughs> To like adopt some people or something. Um, okay, got it. Where to start or where to start? Whew. So I've got 8,000 in the bank. So let's try out some diplomacy first, see who hates me. Ah, not that many people. So the Quietans don't like me, the Saxons don't like me, the Ostrogoths don't like me, and the Jutes don't like me. Super. And a lot of other people also really don't like me. Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. So I guess try to <laughs> attempt to get speed some speed trade agreements up, even though I really doubt anyone's going to accept. And plus, that Eastern Roman Empire is cool. They like me. That's good. I need come, come. some friends. Julian's. Be welcome, oh. I suppose. Now speak as you will and try to be interested. Sure. I'll accept the offer. If nothing else, maybe it might prevent them from attacking me. <laughs> Until I'm good and ready to deal with them. Are you brave or foolish? So as you can see, I'm so incredibly powerful. I'm like impossibly powerful compared to all these factions, but the fact is there's so many of them. And they're probably all going to declare war on me. So it's more so going to be death through a thousand cuts than anything else. I am here. Uh, everyone still hates me. Wonderful. Alright, uh, ooh, actually look at the time. I need to go. So I'm going to save this. Do save that. See there was one of my previous saves. <laughs> save succeeded. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna yeah pause the stream there. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.